everybody. Uh, this is Josh here. I am a YouTuber slash the course Cruise instructor and we have Avia here. They recently graduated and then got to their self a position. Um, it's an interim position, right? But I forgot the title. It was a cool sounding title, um, but welcome. Yeah, to it, the... <laughs> it's, it's a network infrastructure intern. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, this is actually the first graduate who has gotten an internship and I'm not really, I don't really know how internships work in, in IT. So I was like hoping to ask you about that a little bit. Do you, do you know much about like what you'll be doing and stuff yet? So like from what I know, I'm probably just going to be doing stuff regarding like VPN and virtual networking. So one thing I do know is that I will be using like I'll be working with VMware. That's at least what like the director told me gotcha, when gotcha. I had like my interview with them that I'll be using VMware a lot and it's fully remote as well. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. I'm sure like a lot of people are curious about this. I'm curious about it too. Um, how, how did you go about finding an, an internship? Do you just like look on a normal job site or like did you find it some other way? So like a little bit of myself, like I am currently a college student. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm about to finish my first year of college. I'm pursuing computer science. Oh, okay. And um, I actually like, so through my uh, college actually signed up to their like career board mm -hmm. to where like I was just looking for like jobs and stuff. And I actually got an email from like someone who was like looking for like IT roles, like internships, part-time roles, full-time roles, all of that. Mm -hmm. And at least like sign up and stuff. I just had to put my name and my resume on the website. Mm -hmm. So I did that. And I think like a month after a company actually reached out to me, that company, which I got the offer for. That's funny. So you kind of like uh, submitted your info to somewhere and then uh, other companies look on their board and like they just picked you out from there or something like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. cool, cool. It, so was, it was really interesting because like this is also like the one company where like I only had like one interview because I've interviewed with a lot of companies mm -hmm. and this was like the one company that only had like one interview and I just I got the role. Well, that's nice yeah I, I hate when there's like three or four or five five interviews or <laughs> something like this that sucks um, but yeah. yeah, it sounds like you're like pretty young and like you're you're just starting college, right? Or did you did you have like some jobs before this or what, what's kind of your background? I guess? Um, So this would actually be like my first ever like role, my first gig. Oh, I've wow. never had a job prior to this. So yeah, I mean, I'm just a college student just trying to pursue computer science, hoping to get into like software engineering, cloud computing, somewhere along those lines. Cool. Yeah, you're doing more than how old are you? Can I I can like cut this out of the interview, but I just want to like, oh, no, no, uh, it's all good. Uh, I'm 21. Okay, okay, man, you're like far ahead in life. I think when I was 21, I was playing like World of Warcraft and I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything. So that's like, that's kind of cool. cool. Well, I do play games in my spare time as well. So yeah, at least, you're, at, the time. at least you're doing something else, something else as well. Cool, cool. Um, so did you, I guess I want to ask, um, is there any like particular part of the course that you found to be like useful, like when you went to apply or like during the interview, like any part that you found helpful or how to, any thoughts on that? Oh yeah, definitely the labs and like the, the job preparation and execution. Those really helped me a lot, especially the labs, really? because I was able to like, for like a lot of my interviews, I was actually able to like explain that because mm -hmm. like many of the recruiters, they'll like look at my GitHub profile and then they'll ask me about the projects. Oh, and I nice. was even able to explain, yeah. And I was even able to explain this in like my interview for the internship. Mm -hmm. I explained like he was like the, the person that I was interviewing with, he liked that like I did like a project with like Wireshark. I made two virtual machines, one Linux machine and stuff and work with Wireshark to inspect like networking traffic and all that he was really impressed with that yeah that's cool and as someone who hires other people like i'll be impressed too like if someone actually goes like puts through the effort to actually do something on their own and is able to articulate it that's like super cool mm -hmm. cool cool gotcha. so um and you don't have to talk about this either but uh can you talk a little bit about the interview like where you actually got hired um you don't have to say the exact questions but like what kind of questions did they ask and like maybe what did you talk about i guess during your interviews so for this company that i got the job for it really was wasn't that technical he just wanted to like what i really know and what type of experience i have okay but like the companies which i have interviewed for like companies which i got like called for for interviews and stuff mm -hmm. i would usually get asked questions about like oh basically a lot of theoretical stuff like you know if there's an issue with a printer what would you do mm -hmm. or like you know like what could another one be like name like some like networking commands you know like trace rouse ping oh, gotcha. those ones mm -hmm. so like a lot of theoretical stuff and th some behavioral stuff too gotcha and that really helped me your behavioral questions oh really they yeah those really helped actually because i i got asked like very similar questions gotcha there's like a lot of um there's some open 
open-ended ones and then some like actual like targeted questions like um tell me about this and that and it, it's not like a something that you necessarily know the answer to but it's more so something like talking about like what you would do in that situation something like this that's a cool cool yeah, that's that's nice. I kind of see that as a theme with um, a lot of like entry level or like help desk positions. Like it's a lot of it is like um, behavioral and like customer support heavy. Pretty much everyone gets those questions, so it's like good to hit those, I guess, in your in your practice. Yeah, those videos definitely help a lot. <laughs> that's good to know. Yeah, and then, mm, cool. I guess uh, I wanted to ask, like, in terms of the course, like, what was the most difficult part of the course, if there even was a difficult part for you? Like, what's the most challenging? Um, definitely doing the labs because I. Would, after doing the lab the first time, I would try to like do it again on like my own and stuff. Mm -hmm. So those are definitely the, the challenging part. But like obviously, the more repetitions that you do, you start getting used to it. So that really was the challenging part. But after I overcame that, like it just became like second nature for me. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. And I totally agree with that. It really helps a lot to kind of do something uh, definitely more than once. Um, like I have a couple skills where I can go out and get a job, and the the way I got those skills is like I just do the thing that like many, 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 many times, and it, it just kind of like gets stuck in your head and then it becomes really easy to talk about during your interview did you kind of find that to be the case it's like easy to talk about something you've done like so many times yeah absolutely yeah. because like there would be like some questions that would be like in like repetition like i'll ask the same questions or very similar questions and i'll be like okay i know how to answer this or at least i know how to proceed with it gotcha gotcha cool cool and then did you i you said it's an internship um do you is it a paid internship and do you if so do you know like what your salary is going to be or do you know already i guess mm -hmm. uh it is a paid internship like as far as like pay it's like what was like mentioned it's like between like 16 to 20 an hour oh gotcha gotcha that's pretty good uh for an internship i would say and then you said um we were talking a little bit before this you kind of mentioned it was a fully remote one as well it's like online yeah it's fully remote yes gotcha that's that's pretty and cool. it's like and it's like from at least from what i know like i will be working like part-time as well so it'll be like fully flexible with my schedule as well oh that's so good actually <laughs> especially for being in yeah. school that is, like, <clears throat> that's pretty good cool um do you know oh you said you're gonna pursue like computer science and software engineering or did i hear that right afterwards yeah so like like the end goal is to eventually like get into like software engineering cloud computing somewhere like along those lines yeah those things kind of like mix together anyway so you probably like you know find something that you like along the way and just kind of go with it mm -hmm. so i mean i'm just taking my time with it i am currently pursuing the microsoft az 900 okay i actually have the exam on the 29th actually oh it's pretty soon yeah right? so i've been yeah. preparing for that yeah nice yeah good luck with that um at least you you have a bit of exposure to Azure now, so that's kind of good. Yeah, that really helps, yes. Cool, cool. Do you have any plans for like future certifications? Or are you just going to kind of go hard on algorithms and like programming or what are your future plans? Definitely go hard with programming and algorithms. Yeah, <laughs> it take a while. Like, to... <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to start learning Python Okay. and like Java and stuff. So that should be exciting. Cool, cool. Pretty fun. Yeah, I really like programming. Um, And I will say for anyone watching, programming is like, it's kind of like a salary amplifier. Like if you can do, you know, like cloud support or, you know, network infrastructure if you can program as well then it kind of like opens up your i guess you're able to do a lot more jobs and you're able to kind of like get a lot more salary because you're, you're kind of in more demand so it's really good to like match programming with stuff so that's like really good move i feel yeah definitely and then as someone not necessarily like uh anything related to course careers but for anyone who's watching who wants to like change their career or get into it or something like being someone who who just kind of started doing that and had some success do you have any advice for those people who are watching yeah yeah, um, you know, anyone with like no experience can definitely do this. I mean, I don't really have that much experience. I had like a little knowledge, obviously, like watching from like your videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, basically, I was a complete beginner. And anyone can just go from like zero to mastery with the way how you make your course, right? Because like this course, it's like really well detailed and from like <laughs> theoretical to practical knowledge. And even like the way how you prepare for everything and execute everything, like mm -hmm. definitely pay attention to the job preparation, like that resume, the GitHub portfolio that will help you a lot and i know for a fact it was that resume and the portfolio that obviously where i had people noticing like and they reached out to me oh yeah yeah thanks for bringing that up that's like a key thing that i notice is kind of missing in a lot of courses because they'll teach you like a lot of stuff but people like don't really know how to you know portray that to employers so thanks for for bringing that up that is like a really important part yeah definitely i mean i noticed that with a lot of courses too like especially like the one cool thing about your course is like if there's anything that needs to be changed or updated you do it immediately like <laughs> some courses like I, not that many courses would do that even if they do they'll update it like many 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 months after mm. and then by that time that information might even be updated <laughs> by the time they yeah. update, update it yeah i i know why they do that because it's like a huge pain in the ass to like open up the um premiere project
project again and like patch the video is just kind of sucks. I, I did it today actually for like a couple of videos. Um, so thank you for acknowledging that it's like quite, it's like takes a lot of work to patch both of those. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I can tell it must be really difficult. And definitely like another thing I want to say is like, don't give up. There will be times where like, you know, the information, it'll be a lot to take in, right? And you probably just might want to give up, but like, I wouldn't recommend it. Like take your time with it, rewatch the videos, redo the labs if you have any difficulty. And obviously the Discord helps yeah. a lot. Yeah, like, hit us, there's hit literally us. a, there's, yeah, there's literally a community in there, mm -hmm. you know? And I sometimes try to help out too, if anyone needs help, if I can. And you know, you'll definitely like get the help you need if you just ask. Yeah. Oh yeah, thank you so much. I noticed you help people in the Discord like quite a bit, actually. I'm like, oh, there's AR12 again, AR12. I, I noticed that, so uh, thank you very much. It it helps me a lot. Yeah, no problem. I'll try to help any way that I can. Yeah, for sure. Are you doing the um experience template thing where you like keep track of the people who you help? Yeah, I have. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you sent that. You sent that to me, right? I think. Uh, not yet. I, I still haven't reached the goal yet. I just okay. haven't been getting time to like help out people. But uh, uh, once I do, then I'll definitely send it. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, I'll look out for it. Cool. Any um kind of final thoughts or final words for people before we close it out? Um, if you guys are like wanting to make an investment on this course, I highly recommend it. I was first really doubtful at first, but then like after like watching like a lot of the interviews that you've done with like the graduates, it convinced me like okay, maybe this will be the right investment for me. So I just spent the money and a real and it helped on the and definitely take this course like Josh does a great job in explaining <laughs> everything and if you just put in the effort you will definitely get a job and cool. you can probably get it quickly too like obviously for me it took a lot of time because like I had a lot of preferences because obviously I needed something that could cater to my schedule but if you're looking for like a, a full full-time role you'll definitely get offers but not not offers but you'll definitely be called for interviews for sure if you just follow everything religiously <laughs> well thanks for saying that you don't have to like uh how can I say these nice things about the course with your your final thoughts but I appreciate that a lot, seriously. Um, I do try to uh, to help people and then other people in the Discord, um, including you, help people a lot too. And it's just really nice. So I really um, appreciate the kind words. So thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Cool, cool. Yeah, well, thanks again for coming on and stuff. Um, really appreciate it a lot. And we'll see you uh, in the Discord, I guess. Yep. Thank you for having me.